how can you develop a great healthy ego or how can you increase pride in yourself positive pride in yourself the simple way to do this is through self-confidence you need to develop a good self-confidence in order to boost your ego in order to increase your pride in yourself and what you believe in self-confidence is needed to drive your business why is self-confidence needed in driving your business now if you are a business and you understand that you cannot do without marketing you cannot do without self you cannot do without setting customers now all of these things are achieved through a great reserve of self-confidence how can you approach a customer um, to talk about your products and services without having some level of confidence you need to have confidence in yourself in your product in the value you're bringing to the market so how do you cultivate your confidence you cultivate your confidence by understanding your strengths find out what are your strengths are you good at talking are you good at convincing are you good at public speaking are you good at selling are you good at marketing are you good at anything so find out what are you good at what are the strengths that you have so it's more like doing a spot analysis of yourself. What are your strengths? What are your abilities? What are you able to do? Okay. Also identify your weaknesses. Are you someone who is finding it difficult to talk or to approach strangers? This might be your weakness. So improve your self-confidence. You harness your strength and work on your weaknesses. One way to improve your self-confidence is to set realistic goals for yourself. Set goals. And your goals must be smart. They have to be specific, they have to be measurable, they have to be achievable, they have to be realistic, and they have to be time bound. So set those goals. Maybe you want to, in a month, you want to um, have like 100 cells or 15 cells or 20 cells. Close. Okay? Because when you set goals, you will very quickly understand the actions you need to take in order to achieve those goals. Action comes after goal setting. If you don't set goals, you won't have the right actions in place. And if the right actions are not in place, you will not be able to achieve whatever you set out to achieve. Okay? So you set realistic goals. Alright? And try to overcome the imposter syndrome. Always try to be yourself. Don't try to mimic someone else. Don't try to imitate someone else. Be yourself. When you're always yourself, you will discover that your self-confidence will improve. So remember, three ways to improve your self-confidence and to have a great ego that helps you drive your business is to evaluate your strengths and weaknesses, harness your strengths, work on your weaknesses, okay? Have set realistic goals and avoid the imposter syndrome.